Ricardo Pepe, Mr. 915, we're coming from the same place. You scored that third goal for the U.S. What did you see? What did you feel? A lot of emotions, of course, you know, coming into the game. It was a game that was hectic, of course, you know, it was 2-0, so 2-0 is never a good result, of course, but, you know, just coming off the bench, scoring the third goal, felt amazing. But you were so calm, cool, and collected to go around Memo Ochoa. Where does that confidence come from? Uh, it just comes from being a striker, to be honest. You know, you're in situations where you just got to, you're, you're in front of the goal, you got to put, put them in the back of the net. So I think, you know, I'm just calm and collected in front of goal, and, you know, that's my specialty. This was a fiery game, obviously four red cards, three goals for the United States. And you as a Mexican-American kind of have a different experience on the field. What was that like to see, you know, the team, I don't know, fighting against each other, having those moments? How do you feel in those moments? Because you are and love both countries so much. Yeah, it's emotional, of course, you know, seeing my teammates get the red card, you know, it's never good. But, you know, it's part of the game. And, you know, being Mexican-American, of course, you feel that and from both sides. But, you know, it feels good to, to get the win. When you're on the bench for two goals, what are you guys feeling there? I know you're, you're digging in and you want to come in so badly. I mean, do you feel that? Like, I'm going to come in, I'm going to score. I'm going to make a difference immediately. Yeah, you know, I always try to come into the game with a positive mindset. And, of course, any time I'm in front of a goal, you know, I want to score a goal. So, you know, my mentality off the bench was I'm going to come in, score the third goal, and, and it happened. I want to ask you your feelings. There were reports during the match that it's been confirmed by The Athletic that Greg Berhalter has been rehired as head coach. What are your feelings on that? Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. You know, now that you're telling me, I have no idea, you know, on the news, but, you know, I have no idea, to be honest. It's just something that, you know, we haven't talked about, but, you know, we just finished the game, so it's time. I think it's time to celebrate this win. All right, congratulations. Canada next. Yes. What does that rank amongst the greatest derbies you've ever played? Um, pretty high. I think with this new generation of players, uh, U.S. national team players, I think uh, this ranks pretty high for us. Um, solid performance from everyone. Uh, we're happy to get the 3-0 win in advance. And I think the most important thing is just to get ready for next game. How did you feel out there today on the right wing? You guys looked very sharp. I felt, uh, I felt amazing. I mean, uh, you know, back in my club team, I'm in the defense a lot. So getting back out there with the guys and being on the wing was amazing. The guys, you know, helped me transition back into that position. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything clicked tonight. So definitely a plus. How come everything clicked tonight? Because you guys were on a whole nother level over Mexico. Yeah, like I said, uh, this team is, is a family. Um, and that, that's, really, that's really it. Uh, in training, we, we work so well together. Off the pitch, we, we, we gel together amazing. Everyone chills with everyone. So I mean, yeah, you definitely feel that vibe out here. I want to ask you about the reports that were circling around kickoff um, that Greg Berhalter is going to get rehired as a USMNT manager. What are your thoughts? Um, honestly, I, I didn't hear any inf information yet. Uh, we just got back into, into the locker room and just you know, enjoyed the moment. So I guess we'll, we'll see. If he were to come back, how would you feel? Um, as I said before, happy, of course. No McKinney, no Dest uh, for the final. Yeah, it's definitely a, a blow, but I know our, our squad depth is is really good. We have guys like Scali, Luca De La Torre, uh, Johnny who can fill in that position. Um, so now it's just time to get back into training and, and work hard and do what we have to do. Um, you know, it comes with the game. I know the red cards were, were definitely a bummer, but it happens. Aggressive, aggressive match tonight. And yeah, uh, we just have to continue, continue working and, and move on. All right, man. Congrats and on to the final. Thank you. Appreciate it.